Good morning. I'm that guy in your fantasy football league that is only getting a win this week because I happen to be playing the team with the lowest amount of points this week, and I happen to have the second lowest. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. My name is Tucker, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the most noteworthy news that we've gotten in the NBA in, honestly, the last couple of weeks since the finals have ended. And this is news that came out on Friday, but I decided to wait until today to talk about it because I didn't know if anything was going to be finalized. Uh, and now I feel like it's definitely worth talking about. And that is some of the changes and a lot of surprising things that have come out about the start of next season for the NBA, uh, when that's going to happen, what the details of that are and how that impacts the entire season. And that is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But really quickly, if you enjoy content like this, then consider subscribing. I upload basically every single day uh, and leaving a like rating is a great way to, to let me know as well that you're enjoying the content and it helps out the video a ton as well on YouTube. And really quickly, I have two things to plug. The first, of course, is the Twitch channel. I've been streaming over there five times a week, twitch.tv slash spolo underscore TD. It's pretty likely that I'm live right now if you want to come hang out. But I also created a Discord server for you guys to go and hang out in. There is an NBA discussion tab. There's an NBA trade machine tab over there as well. We've already got a lot of people from the stream in there as I've been plugging it uh, in the stream over the last handful of days. If you guys want to go check it out, I will leave the link down in the description below. Just a great way to kind of hang out with some of the people that are watching these videos in the comment section, even if you know there isn't a video actively up. With all those things said, let's go and get started. Okay, so let's get to what has actually been reported here, and then we'll talk about the impact and things like that. So um, up to this point, and I made a video on this, it seemed like the momentum for the NBA in terms of the start of next season was being pushed towards February or March, somewhere around maybe Valentine's Day. And the reasoning for that was because they wanted to make sure that they had the best opportunity to get some kind of fans in the building and a significant amount of fans safely as possible for obvious monetary reasons. This past season for the NBA uh, has been really, really difficult for them in terms of the financial aspect of it, in terms of not having fans and things like that. And they are trying to uh, remedy that. At least it seemed like that was the case by pushing the start of next season back by as much as they could to try and get as many fans in as possible, potential for a vaccine, things like that. Um, yeah, none of that turned out to be true. All of that stuff got completely turned around in a span of what seemed like 12 or 14 hours. Uh, all of a sudden, the plan became to start the season around Christmas. And when the NBA initially went to the bubble, this was what people expected and I believe was reported as the plan was for the following season to start around Christmas to take advantage of the ratings boost that typically you know comes with NBA Christmas Day games. And once we actually got into the bubble and it was clear, you know, how much of an ordeal that was for the players, uh, some of the delays that occurred in the bubble and it, just all the logistics of it, it became clear that, okay, Christmas is probably not a an ideal start time. They're probably trying to do too much and they're going to push it off. And then it came into the whole conversation about trying to make sure they have fans and things like that. Yeah, apparently none of that matters anymore because suddenly on Friday they had a meeting with the Board of Governors and I don't know if this was just misreporting up until this point, if there was a huge you know, turnaround in terms of, of where everybody wanted to go with this all of a sudden, but I don't know. I, I certainly have some thoughts on this, uh, but that, that's kind of what's been reported at this point is starting around, I believe, the 22nd, pretty close to Christmas Day. Uh, having a 72 game regular season, no all-star game and a play in tournament though, which is really interesting as well. And trying to end that summer prior to the now delayed 2021 summer Olympic games is the goal. Here's a couple of things. Um, the first thing that came to mind when I find, found out when the new league year was supposed to start, to start which to be clear, I'm excited about. I wasn't looking forward to a five month off season of content creation. Uh, once free agency and, and, and the draft and things like that are over and you're just kind of waiting around for the next season, content creation can certainly be tough. And so having a shortened off season in which we're basically gonna do free agency, draft, whatever kind of pre-season type thing, training camp they're gonna do, and then we're gonna go into the next season less than two months from now, that's obviously a good thing for me from a content standpoint. But the other thing that I thought about was, this seemed like a a money situation and b not a good sign for where the league is going in a couple of ways one let's talk about the money um in terms of the health and the safety of the players and of of a lot of the players in the league and most specifically the ones that just went on a deep uh run in the bubble or just made the playoffs in the bubble this isn't the right move for those players and i understand that a lot of the teams in the league whether it's because they didn't make the playoffs or because uh, they didn't even make the bubble have been out of basketball and haven't played an NBA game in a while. And I understand that, but that's the case every year. 
And for these teams that have made a deep run in the bubble, this quick of a turnaround just simply isn't in their best interest. And the league isn't looking out for those players, plain and simple. And what they're doing here is they're trying to take advantage of the ratings boost that having games on Christmas Day, and in this case, right before Christmas Day, has for the league. And this Christmas start has been something that has been rumored for a while, and now they're finally doing it, but the quickness of the turnaround is a concern for me from an injury standpoint. But it also tells me that there were very smart people in this world that were telling the NBA that, yeah, you can start your season in February or March, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna have any more fans in the building then than you would right now. Similar to how the NFL is right now, where they have you know a handful of fans at a couple of different venues. That's pretty much what the NBA, it looks like, is going to be doing. And it seems like, at least to me, that would have been the case in February or March as well, which isn't a great sign for the rest of the world. But outside of that, as it relates specifically to the NBA, if things were going to get better from that standpoint and they were going to be able to have more fans in arenas in February or March, I'd imagine they would have pushed things back and played in February or March. So that tells me that, that doesn't seem like it's actually going to be the case. Again, though, going back to is this you know, the best idea for the health and safety of the players and then also, you know, the fans being in the arenas, it seems unlikely that that's the case because not only is there a quick turnaround, again, less than two months from now, like seven and a half weeks from now, we're going to be starting the next NBA season if all of this stuff goes through, which it hasn't been approved yet, but it seems very likely that it's going to. It's not just that, but then they're, they're going to play 72 games and a play-in tournament and the playoffs between, you know, Christmas and before the Summer Olympics feels like a lot to me. And there's a reason why it was reported and rumored that they weren't going to do this once they started the bubble, once they saw, you know, for lack of a better word, the toll that that can take on not only the staff, but some of the players as well. Um, this is a concern for me. And if you want to get back to the basketball stuff, we can. It, it, it's exciting that the season is going to be back so soon. I love the idea of a play-in tournament. Clearly, it was a success in the bubble. And this whole situation how we've transitioned to the bubble is going to have a long lasting impact on the league we're going to see it for years to come there's a possibility and honestly at this point a likelihood that the league starts around christmas moving forward now uh, because that would be a great way for them to kind of reset the calendar after what has been you know a really crazy last couple of months and it's going to be difficult to reset the calendar back to where it was before in any kind of short time span so Moving forward, we might just see the league start at Christmas, which would certainly be a change, but also this playing tournament, which I think is a really positive outcome uh, for the league because it was such a success in the bubble. So those are at least some good things, and I'm happy that the league is going to be coming back. Uh, it sucks that at this point it seems like there isn't going to be an all-star game. I'd imagine we still have all-stars names just for the history of the league, but uh, I don't know if we'd actually play the game. But regardless, I'm concerned about you know, what this says about the health and well-being of the players, or at least how the league values them. And maybe I'm overestimating this, and maybe I'm making too big of a deal out of this. Uh, but it seems like a very quick turnaround. It seems like, especially for those teams that made a deep run in the bubble, playing on Christmas and starting the next season so quickly is not a great idea for them, not in their best interest. Now, to be fair, I had my doubts about the bubble, not necessarily as an idea, but more so about the execution of it and, and if it would actually work. And it went... From a, from a health and safety standpoint, about as flawlessly as you could possibly imagine. Uh, and it, it certainly wasn't an easy environment, but if you're just looking at it from a perspective of let's finish the NBA season, let's get all of our games in, the bubble was an incredible success and I was skept skeptical about that. And so maybe I should give the league the benefit of the doubt and I'm still more confident in them than any other league uh, in the States to make this happen and do this correctly. Uh, but I am concerned. I will say, though, as it relates to the bubble, uh, there's about a 0% chance that the league does anything remotely close to a bubble again until, you know, if for some reason, hopefully not, but if for some reason we get to the next playoffs and the bubble is still a necessity, then they might consider it, but they're not going to do any kind of bubble thing. They're not going to do anything crazy with a 72 game regular season. More than likely, what's going to happen is either A, they're going to have regional sites and for the most part teams are going to stay in their region to limit some of the issues you could potentially have with travel or they're just going to be playing in their regular venues but again travel is going to be incredibly restricted regionally so that that way they can play their 72 games but limit the amount of traveling that they're doing 
to try and make sure that they have as few postponed or canceled games throughout the year as possible because then as as crazy as the schedule is already going to be with 72 games and what is going to be a relatively short window it's going to be even crazier if we start to have to look at postponed and canceled games so there's a lot of things to take a look at here there's a reason that i wanted to wait on this because a it wasn't confirmed and b there's just a lot to kind of digest and take a look at here uh, but that's where I'm at right now uh, with the league and with the new start. I'm excited that it's going to be back just two months from now. I'm interested to see how they try and fit in the draft and free agency and all that stuff uh, in before the start of the next season. Uh, but regardless, I'm excited for basketball to be back and hopefully the league does everything safely, uh, as I'm sure they will as it relates to everything going on in the world. But still, it seemed like a little bit of a money situation to me where they were trying to go back so quickly in all honesty in what appears to be to the detriment uh, of the, the league's players, to be completely honest. And yeah, there you have it. That is gonna be the end of today's video, and I thank you all very much for watching. Once again, my name is Tucker. If you missed any of my previous videos, then be sure to check out the boxes on screen. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.